The following has been developed by state and provincial agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Television. Together, serving education. really looks great, but you wouldn't believe what the gang went through to get it built. Survive the creek. It's a perfect spot. What is? Where you guys see it. See what? Come on. Kelly found the trees and thought they would be just right for a tree house. My brother Ronnie was the one who really got things going, though. plywood in the basement. I'm sure I'll let us use them. Well, let's go. So that's how it all began. Everyone was running off to get wood, but nobody took time to figure out how much wood they really needed. It's really going to be great. Really? Yeah, ma'am. Lisa, this is going to be so fun. It didn't take long before everyone came back with their wooden stuff. Then the trouble began. Something we can share Up in these trees here Up in the cool, cool breeze here We're gonna build a tree house A castle in the air It won't take us long now What's there to go wrong now? We're gonna build a tree house The best one in Weren't for part of the floor? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. A couple of you guys come on up here with it. We'll just set it right in here. Come on, Artie. You're probably thinking the same thing I was. Why don't they measure the space they want to fit the board into so they'll know if it'll fit? Well, I tried. Wait a minute. Why don't you guys get a measuring tape and do it right? Let Zeke measure how far it is between the boards. Then you'll know if the plywood will fit. Don't need it, Nancy. I can tell from here it's going to fit. Don't get so picky, Nancy. <laughs> Like I said, it's not gonna work. Zeke, can I say something? What? We don't understand what you have in mind here. Yeah, what's this house gonna look like when it's finished? Right, what we need is a drawing. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got 
gotcha. So we need to put some sides on it. Hmm. We need one, two, three long boards for the railings, and four short ones for the front. And we need two long boards for the ladder, and about three or four pieces of plywood for the floor. Here's a bigger piece. Let's see if it fits. Perfect. That was the biggest piece. Hmm. I have to get some more. OK. While you're doing that, we'll work on the railing. Hmm, Lisa, hand me that pencil. I can measure with it. Come on, Lee. Give me a hand. Here you go, sure. Zeke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Artie, cut me aboard this ten pencil lengths. Got you, ten pencil lengths. Toss down the pencil, Zeke. Here, Zeke. Way to go, Artie. Now we're doing it. Max, come here, boy. It's okay. Well, my smart brother almost lost his dog, but at least it made him think. Listen, Zeke, I think we better stop figuring this thing out before we end up with a pile of firewood. Yeah! yeah. Here, Ronnie, catch. <laughs> Once on a very cold day, a very large elephant was going for a walk when he met a very small mouse. My goodness, you look cold. What you need is a warm winter coat. I'm just going to have one made for myself. Why don't you come along? So off they went to see the elephant's tailor, a very intelligent spider. Ah. Well, first, I better take your measurements in case you've grown lately. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, you're just about three meters tall. Now, that's close enough, give or take a few centimeters. It's my turn now. Take my measurements with the big stick. Oh, no, 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 no. I only use that to measure my very largest customers. If it's good enough for the elephant, it's good enough for me. Oh, very well. But you'll be sorry. Nonsense. Oh. Well, there's an awful lot of space between the marks. I'm almost halfway between the zero and the ten, wouldn't you say? About five centimeters tall? That's close enough, give or take a few centimeters. The spider just shrugged. <sighs> the customer's always right. A week later, the new coats were ready. The elephant's coat was a pretty good fit, perhaps a couple of centimeters too long, but close enough. Then came the mouse's turn to try on his new coat. <laughs> it was also a few centimeters too long. I warned you. Well, let me take your measurements again with my special mouse measure, which has the millimeters marked off between the centimeters. And this time, the spider was able to see that the mouse measured just about 25 millimeters, or two and a half centimeters. Another week went by, and now that the spider had made the proper adjustments, the mouse's coat fitted perfectly. How very clever you are to be able to measure so well. It's nothing. All you have to do when you have to measure something is picture in your head how close is close enough. As soon as I saw the elephant, I pictured to myself what would happen if I made his coat a few centimeters too long or too short. Why, you'd hardly be able to see the difference. So I knew that measuring the elephant to the nearest ten centimeters would be close enough. Amazing! And I did the same for you. I pictured to myself what would happen if I made your coat a few centimeters too long or too short. Oh, disaster either way. So I knew that I'd have to measure you not only to the nearest centimeter, but to the nearest millimeter. Astonishing. Yes, I know, I know. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, let's measure the distance between these two trees for the railing. Okay, this is where the railing will start. Two, 
two meters and about four centimeters. Have you got that, Lisa? Yeah. You need to be careful, Lisa. Make sure the zero of the stick is at the edge of the board. You have to have a plan You have to measure carefully So it will turn out right This very simple rule Can be a very useful tool So take the time to measure And you'll always get it right Once you learn to do it There's really nothing to it Just take time to measure and you'll always come out right. What are you two up to? We're making a ladder. We'll have to cut these boards down to two meters. Why? They're more than long enough to reach the floor. I guess so, but we want them to look real neat. So hey, hey, come along now. We're gonna have some fun now. Building something special. Something in the cool, cool breeze here. We're gonna build a tree house, a castle in the air. We're gonna have a tree house, the best one anywhere. Hey, friend! What? I hate to tell you this, but you two better step back a little bit and look at what you're doing. Huh? Look at the ladder. <sighs> oh, nuts. They're crooked. You blew it, Kelly. Me? Your side is too close together. Oh, no. Your side is too far apart. Anybody can see that. How far apart did you measure yours? 30 centimeters. 30? I made mine 25. Hey, you two. Nobody can use it the way it is. Just pick a distance and make sure you measure both sides the same. Well, that's how it went all day. Some things worked and some things went haywire. It wasn't that the kids were dumb or anything like that, but once they took time to think about what they were doing and measure carefully, things went a lot better. Now the Fourth Street regulars have this really neat tree house, and Artie just had a terrific idea, so I'd better go see what it is. Hold it, Nance. You got to ring the bell first. See, that's stupid. No, it's not. It's club policy. Isn't that right, Artie? Right. Okay, you can come on up now. We're talking about maybe putting a second story on our treehouse. It Figures, a component of the Skills Essential to Learning Project, was produced by the South Carolina Educational Television Network under the supervision of the Agency for Instructional Television.